This is gonna be a piece of cake! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Stop! Kratos, don't get in our way! Hear me out. The Daris Karlon core system just finished calculating its answer. If you form the pact with a summoned spirit, the protection around the Great Seed will be completely lost. And that's exactly what we desire. Don't you understand? What you're hoping for will not happen. Silence! Do you think we'll pass up this opportunity? Lloyd! Leave him to me. Go now. Form the pact with the summoned spirit of life. This is it. The protection around the Great Seed will finally fall after this pact. We're counting on you, Sheena. You got it. Sheena, I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos, and establish a new pact with me. Where is Asuka? He'll come. He promised. I see. Then all is well. I shall test thy worthiness to wield my power. Show me thy true strength. Get no away! way! Voltage! Are you okay? Here we go! Thanks. Fire Get ready! Let us create a new pact. Take. That's that. Thou art powerful. I vow to germinate the great seed in order to realize the true regeneration of both worlds. We accept thy vow. Our power is thine. You did it! No!
Carlon tree? That person. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. Martel. Martel. That woman about to be consumed by the tree is Martel. She reminds me of someone. Why would Martel reappear with that giant grotesque tree? I was afraid this would happen. What do you mean? Having lost the stability afforded by the protection of the Summon Spirits, the Great Seed has gone out of control. No! The purpose of the Summon Spirits was to isolate the Great Seed from the outside world and prevent it from growing. That was only half of it. The two worlds were forced out of phase by Yggdrasil. They should have drifted apart from each other and have been consumed by the Void. But this was prevented from happening because the Great Seed was placed in the center between the two worlds. I don't need a lecture from you to know that. The Great Seed is constantly being pulled upon from both worlds as they try to separate from one another. It's a miracle that this delicate balance held up for even this long. Wait, so the Mana Link served as a cage to contain the Great Seed in the space between the two worlds? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And because you provided the unstable Great Seed with mana, it germinated in a twisted form and has gone out of control. It's even engulfed Martell. Who cares why this happened? I want to know what's going to happen if we can't stop this thing. If what Kratos says is true, then Silverot will be consumed and destroyed by the Great Seed. And if Silverot is destroyed, Tethayala will be destroyed as well, as it is linked by the holy ground of Karlan and the otherworldly gate. Then... everyone will die. Everyone, except that twisted tree, and the angels that live on Daris Karlan. We have to do something! But what can we do? Ewan, how do you plan to rectify this situation? We can cut off the mana flow and stop the seed from receiving any more mana. But that won't subdue the giant tree. The process has already begun. Is the giant tree going crazy like that in Tethayala too? Highly unlikely. Although I imagine they are feeling some effects, such as Earthquake. That makes sense. Because Colette activated the process of world regeneration, the summon spirits of Silverant are now active. Therefore, the giant tree was drawn over here by Silverant's summon spirits. Correct. The summon spirits exchange their respective roles of yin and yang each time a chosen's quest for world regeneration succeeds. Currently, the summon spirits of Silverant are carrying out the role of yang by providing the mana, but because the giant tree has overabsorbed Silverant's mana, it has gone out of control. If that's the case, couldn't we neutralize it by blasting it with the power of the opposing summon spirits? Whoa, boy! You actually understood what we were talking about? Shut it, Genus. Professor once said that the negative and positive of a magnet neutralize each other. This is kind of the same thing, right? That's not quite right, Lloyd. But nonetheless, it's a clever idea coming from you. Even if we did decide to try and set the summon spirits of Tetheala against it, how are we going to go about doing that? We can't get close to that crazy thing the way it is now. The mana cannon. Mana cannon? That machine Rodial was building? We were actually manipulating Rodile into building that. Before the Mana Link started to disappear, we planned to have Rodile destroy the Tower of Salvation. So you're suggesting we feed the mana of Tethayala's Summon Spirits into the Mana Cannon and fire it at the giant tree. Hmm. I suppose there's no better option right now. First, we need to shut off the current flow of mana to the tree. It'll be too late if the tree grows any larger. Then here's the plan. Ewan, I'm going to pretend I don't know who you've been working with or what you've been doing. In exchange, you're going to order the Renegades to stop firing mana at the tree immediately. Meanwhile, Lloyd's group will head for the mana cannon. All right. It's not possible, sir. Forcistus has executed our Asalia Ranch infiltration team. What does that mean? The Asalia Ranch is still operational. We had people working undercover switch over the mana flow. In other words, we have to infiltrate the place right now and stop the flow. Then I shall go. You? Are you suggesting we should send you, our enemy, to do this by yourself? I'll send some of my men. Preparations for the mana cannon. The shutdown of the mana reactors throughout the world. There are too many things we need the renegades to do. You don't have enough troops to do everything. I'll go. Wait, what are you saying? We have to head for the mana cannon. 
You and the Renegades can take care of the Mana Cannon. Kratos and the rest of us will infiltrate the Isalia Ranch. Fire the Mana Cannon when we give you the word. You wouldn't be able to trust the signal if it came from Kratos alone, right? Well, that's true, but... Is it about Chocolat? That's right. Chocolat is held at the Isalia Ranch. Lloyd, you remembered your promise. All right. We'll leave it to you, then. Don't let us down. Let's go, guys. <laughs>
Nikolai! Don't move! So you're the intruders! The host bodies made a break for it when they heard you were here. You'll pay for this! <laughs> So you like kicking people around, huh? Well, now it's payback time. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> no way! Uh, 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 Sonic thrust. Take it! Thank you. Thank you. Are there any others here? I think the people in the other rooms managed to get away already. We'll make sure they make it out safely. Thanks. And I'll see to shutting down that mana reactor. Let's get going. I... If you don't want to be saved by me, just consider yourself rescued by the Chosen. Now hurry and go! Gonna be a piece of cake. It'll be a piece of cake. Never stood a chance. Stood a chance.
gonna be a piece of cake. No way! Take it! Fight tornado! Don't open it! Get him! It'll be over soon. First day! Just as I expected. Not much of a specimen. What are you Blame your fate. That's as far as you go. You're... for Cestus. Well, well. So you remember me. It looks like it was a mistake to have let you live. I guess I'll have to take care of you personally. Let us through! You're one of us, so surely you understand. We have no use for a world inhabited by those who despise us. I... don't like humans either. But we still need this world! We have Daris Karla. It is a world of mana, the very source of life. The destruction of this tainted world is of no concern to us. What twisted logic. Is this Crucius's idea? Lord Yggdrasil's orders are absolute. Because Martell is fused with the Great Seed. Are you saying that fool would go this far just to protect her? You speak as if you know him. Who are you? Lloyd, we've no time. We'll have to use- I know! You will not get past me! Inferior beings deserve to perish. Don't overdo it! First aid! Take this! First aid! Cure! Now we can stop the mana reactor. I don't have a clue what any of this stuff does. I'll handle this. You sure are handy with everything. Swordsmanship, magic, even operating machines. I've lived a little longer than most humans. Lived longer? So you're a half-elf too? But then again, he called you human earlier. Focus on what's important. We must stop the giant tree. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, all we need to do now is contact Sheena and... You will do no such thing. No. I am one of the five Grand Cardinals. I won't die so easily. I'm taking all of you inferior beings with me. So, this is how the great Desion hero for Cestus meets his end. I'm disappointed. I see. I get it now. I wondered how a mere human could exude the smell of mana. Your Kratos. What of it? Lord Yggdrasil trusted you, yet in the end you betray us. This is why humans can never be trusted. Lord Yggdrasil, glory to the new age of half-elves. Colette, are you okay? What's the- No, don't look! Don't look at me! Lloyd, send a message, quickly. But Colette- The Chosen won't die yet, but if you don't hurry, this world will. Now do it. All right. of everlasting ice. Hammer of godly thunder. Servant of Mother Earth. Envoy from the dark abyss. I command thee, gather us before me and unleash thine power. Okay, guys, I'm counting on you. You mustn't get up. What was that cry? Martell, I would assume. The out-of-control Great Seed is Martell herself. I wonder... The Great Seed is once again bound in the holy ground of Carlon. For that, I owe you my gratitude. Thank you. It seems that you have managed to save the Great Seed as well as this world. If the Great Seed is intact, then I presume Martell, who's fused with it, is safe as well? I'm sure that's good news for you. I wish I could say the same for me. Colette, it looks like things have settled down. It's gross, isn't it? It's disgusting, isn't it? It's... It, it's... It's not at all. Stay away! Don't look at me! Colette! It's okay, she just fainted. Let's take her back to the village. To Isalia? But Lloyd and I were banished. Colette's home is in Isalia. 
Besides, we can't just leave behind the people who were held at the ranch. All right. Let's go to Asalia. Then I'll notify Sheena to meet you at Asalia. Farewell for now. I see. So the angels of Crucius were really half-elves. Please don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to start a panic. Indeed. Especially now that the Tower of Salvation is gone. I wouldn't dare tell people the truth. Tower of Salvation is gone? After that frightening earthquake, the tower disappeared from the eastern sky, along with that monstrosity. How could it disappear? I don't know. The Chosen never completed the ritual of regeneration. The Crucius core system, which controls the appearance of the tower, may have malfunctioned. It is of little consequence. No, it's not. It's a tremendous shock to the people of Silverant. After a giant earthquake sunders the land, the symbol of salvation vanishes. The Chosen will be held responsible. Why? Lots of other Chosen have failed up till now, too. The others have paid for their failure with their lives, but Colette is still alive. When people are suffering, they feel the need to place the blame on someone. It is not fair to Colette. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the village. I'll go too. Let's all go together then. It sounds like it's a bit sketchy for you to be walking around by yourself. I'll stay here. Go on.
Boy! Dad! How have you been? Were you affected by the earthquake? This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. Dirk, we are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. I'm afraid even if Crucius crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. And it'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh. So even you don't know anything about these? I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. At least stay here for the night to get some rest. I must politely decline. Ah. Uh, all right. Wait. Are you really going back to Crucius? I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with you, Drassil's wishes. It's true, then. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Carlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn that led Umasi. Wait. Why are you with Crucius when you're a human? What is he trying to do? Wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah. He returned to Crucis. I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah. But anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. You lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? Gee, you sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. It's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. I'm never gonna give up. If I quit, I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. So I'm gonna fight, to the very end. I can't give up. Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. Lloyd, I feel like I'm starting to hate humans more and more. I'm sorry, Genus. You don't have to apologize, Lloyd. I like you, as well as the people of Isalia. It's just that when I think about how there are lots of people who think just like the mayor... I remember a lesson where the professor said that words exist in order for people to understand one another. What do you do about people who don't want to understand? Genus. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. Don't worry about it. burden to you again, aren't I? What are you talking about? You're the one that's suffering. Stop apologizing. Okay. I'm sorry. Lloyd? You saw my shoulder, right? Yeah. I wonder if I'm just gonna turn into one big X-sphere. You dork. There's no way that'll happen. But it keeps spreading. Right now it's still hidden under my clothes. But eventually... Colette... If that happens, you're gonna hate me. I've caused you so much trouble, and now on top of that, my body's turning into this disgusting thing. It's not disgusting. Remember what I said. You're you, even if you become an X-Fear. No, no, I won't let you become an X-Fear. Really? Yeah. Have I ever lied before? Well, okay, I have. But I did keep my promise to give you your birthday present, so I swear that I'll save you no matter what. I promise. <laughs> you always save me, and you always keep the promises you've made to me. Yeah, so cheer up. When you're down, everyone feels sad, including me. I'm...
truly thankful to have met you, Lloyd. This time, I don't want to disappear. I really don't. I'm gonna live, right? I'm going to be able to stay by your side, right? Of course. You're right here, in front of me, alive. I swear that you will be absolutely, positively, indubitably all right.